In this video, we will look at acids and alkalis. Remember that both acids and alkalis are corrosive and so should be handled with care. If we take two beakers of acid and pop in some red litmus paper and some blue litmus paper, you can see the red litmus paper remains red and the blue litmus paper turns red. This is a good test for an acid. You can do something similar with alkalis. See how the red litmus paper turns blue and the blue litmus paper remains blue. Now let's look at some household substances. Here's some cola. Do you think it will be acid or alkali? Let's pop in some blue litmus paper. Give it a good stir. And you can see the blue litmus paper has turned red, indicating that cola is an acid. Now let's try some lemon juice. Again, do you think this will be acid or alkali? Let's pop in some blue litmus paper, and after a good stirring, you'll see that the blue litmus comes out red, indicating lemon juice is also an acid. Now let's try an energy drink. In goes the blue litmus. A little bit of a stir. Let's see how it comes out. In common with a lot of other soft drinks, this energy drink is an acid. Now, what happens if we actually juice a lemon? Sped up a little bit. Watch out for the splashes. And now, let's test it. Blue litmus. As ever, give it a little bit of a stir. And you can see the blue litmus has turned red, meaning that this lemon juice is also acidic. What about surface cleaner? Well, let's find out. Here we have some red litmus. Pop it in the surface cleaner. And you can see already that it's gone blue. This means that the surface cleaner is an alkali. And here you can see a small sample of the wide variety of acidic and alkaline products that are all around your home.